Hello and welcome back to Berserker. We're going to be doing a small caravan ambush here because I've recruited a whole bunch more units. I actually probably should have stopped off at Askar to buy some additional horses to be fair because then I'm going to be able to move around a lot quicker on the world map. But yeah, you know, sometimes things like that kind of slip your mind when you're attempting to get to Kuze territory because I'd actually very much like to participate in some raids and maybe some sieges maybe some field battles over there as a mercenary I think that would be a lot of fun but obviously I need to get over there in time to participate in all that sort of, sort of stuff so let's see what happens I'm gonna try and attack these desert bandits there we go we're gonna get in and these are gonna be probably some of the best prisoners that I can take and indeed then sell at a uh, at a place so we'll see what i can do oh yeah um yeah i actually did in oh yeah okay <laughs> i made a slight error mm. i might have to actually just restart the game in between when i'm traveling or something like that but uh, i have actually installed the other mod that was required for rts camera to actually work i did not realize that there were two two si uh, two files that you could select and um, yeah that was my bad that was my bad but thank you to one of you in the comments that actually let me know that because I thought to myself wait a minute there's two and apparently you made the same mistake and in general yeah uh, it's a bit confusing sometimes you know the modding uh, modding scene is a little bit confusing and it does make things much much more difficult to understand when you're thinking to yourself, oh, this is, the, this is the thing I need, you know, this is the thing I need. Oh, no, no, you need something else as well on top of that. So, yeah, I need the free camera uh, portion of the mod, and I currently don't have that. All I have is the ability to command units, but I cannot command the units if I don't have the free camera. So, <laughs> that's, that's actually kind of amusing in the grand scheme of things but yeah i think uh when, in, when i'm traveling over to kuze territory after this um after this uh this little ambush right here i probably will do something about that oh nice look at that oh that was a nice kill thankfully i'm not dead yet either i really do need to get more kills to be honest i feel like i'm not getting that many kills because most of the time whenever we're fighting against desert bandits like we are right now it's almost entirely differ, uh, difficult to get any range on these fellows. And you've got to just be either an AI that is very good at timing your attacks, or you just got to be kind of lucky. Anyway, there you go. Wow, good amount of influence right there. What? Why are we getting 17 influence for that? I have no idea. Uh, it's probably because we just did a quest or something as well. But there you go. All right, we're going to gain some decent relation with the guy. 1,000 gold as well, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so I, as I say, I did install the mod, but I haven't installed it yet, like properly, you know what I mean? Because you, you obviously have to unblock those files for it to actually work and, and, and then to enable it. And I haven't enabled it just yet, which is the main reason why it's not working. Anyway, I'm going to buy some desert horses because as I said, we, need, we do need to move around a little bit quicker in my opinion. So let's do that. And we do have a number of people that have leveled up as well. Look at that. Amazing amounts of people leveling up right there too. And I will be right back. All right. So now that we've completed that task, I'm just going to go and sell all my prisoners. As you can see, we just gained another six in roguery, which is pretty nice. I wouldn't say that that's the most amazing gain that I could get from roguery skill, but I'm hoping that some of my raids against their villages, against the Kuzades villages, will be a uh, pretty suitable skill increase. So we'll, we'll try it out because obviously we're probably going to be assaulted by a bunch of their vassals in the meantime as well. But hopefully I am, I'm going to have a, enough combat strength. I have 117 combat strength right now. That's pretty good. That's not too bad. So hopefully that's going to be enough to sort of get us where we need to be. Anyway... Let's, uh, how do we do that now? I've actually forgotten how to raid villages because it's been such a long time since I've done that. Okay, these guys are obviously going to be attacking me. Do I really care about going in automatically or should I just do it manually? I, th I suppose I'll just do it manually for the first couple of, of times and then if it turns out to be way too easy or indeed way too difficult, 
then we'll see what happens. Anyway, as you can see, we now have this menu. Yes, this is the actual proper menu. And this is really nice. This is really, really nice. They even have a slow motion mode as well. So if you want to do that, then that's really, really cool. And you can also select your character, as you can see right there. So if you want to, you can literally just select your character. So if I say, um, let, let's, let me actually just go into free, free camera. There you go. It's free camera. And now Bruce is literally just going to go off and do whatever he wants to do. There he is right there. I'm actually not entirely sure how I use this. Uh... Okay, I, I know how to go fast forward, but I don't know how to go down. Oh, Z. Z is down. Oh, okay, that's kind of strange. Oh, well. All right, I'm happy with that. But yeah, you can basically uh, tell people to go over into various places. Basically, this turns the game into an RTS. Very much similar to a game like Total War, for example. Obviously, I have to get a little bit more used to it because I have no idea what I'm doing right now, to be fair. I really have no idea, so there's obviously that. But um, it's it's interesting nevertheless. Actually, let, let me just take a quick look at the keys here because you can select your formation with the middle mouse button. I did attempt to do that, but apparently that didn't make any difference. What? Look at that. <laughs> you can literally make everyone invulnerable if you have cheat mode enabled. I obviously do not have that, but that's pretty cool nevertheless. And you can obviously switch team, select your character, camera move forward, and Z is camera move down. I would prefer that to be left control, but I'm going to leave it on default just in case it messes something up. But yeah, that's a pretty nice mod, and it's really nice to see that I finally got it installed properly because obviously you did let me know that there is a separate file. Ah, yes. Ah, how wonderful. Anyway, there you go. Now we're going to raid the village, and I'm going to hopefully gain a good amount of skill. Can I get some more skill, please? Here we go. Uh, okay. I'm looking for a bit more than that. Oh, it seems like we're being attacked. This is interesting. I I actually don't know why he would do this. We outnumber... Well, we don't outnumber him, but we have more combat strength. That's probably the reason. <laughs> He's probably very, very confident in his abilities. And I'm, so, I'm kind of worried now. I am actually kind of worried. So I don't know whether we're going to be able to achieve victory here, but I'm going to just stick around here. Ah, uh, this is, I think this is pretty bad, actually. Yeah, I think this is pretty bad. This, this will, this will probably result in a pretty significant defeat for us, I think. Let's tell everyone to charge. I will try and do as much damage as possible. Nice. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, no. I don't want to get shot in the face either, though. That's obviously a big problem. Oh, I have such a terrible, terrible sword right now. Nice. Oh, that was a nice, nice head slash. Okay, we're seemingly doing very well at the moment. I don't know why that is, but I'm, I'm happy with it nevertheless. I think it is just because of my Berserkers able to very much hit with their thrown weapons more often than not. That is really making a huge difference. Oh, nice dismemberment right there. Very, very cool. And I think that's it. I'm very surprised that we actually ended up achieving victory here against this guy. I would not have expected that. Our combat strength was so incredibly close, but I suppose the main point that we have to focus on here is the fact that this guy, he had 20 more units than we did. He should have easily achieved something much more than this, but he wasn't able to because we just had that much better units. I think that's all that it was. Our units are just really, really good. And apparently that's it. I'm going to take this guy prisoner because that's what I'm doing in this uh, in this series. I'm taking prisoners. I'm uh, acting as a bit of a bandit. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Maybe it's going to go well. Maybe it's going to go badly. But whatever the case, I'm going to stick with that and we'll see what happens. Anyway, there you go. Decent amount of loot there as well. And let's... Uh, what? Did he actually stop me from raiding this? He literally stopped me from raiding that. 
Can I can I raid it again? Yeah, ah, uh, there we go. Okay, there we go. So we're not not yet done with the raid. Okay, I might have to actually end raid if um if enemies come again, dependent on how strong the enemy is, of course. I don't really want to get caught out by an extremely large army. That's the only thing that I am wanting to be watchful for. Because that could be very bad for us. But there you go. Okay. We did it. But how much roguery skill did we gain? We only have 22. Are you serious? Okay, how do I level this up? Ah. Uh, ah, there we go. Raid caravans, recruit and lead bandit troops, infiltrate enemy towns, give bribes, escape from captivity. That's what? That's what you do? Really? Raiding, car raiding caravans? Ugh, okay. Sure, I can definitely raid some caravans. There's one. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Let's, uh, let's try and get this, uh, try and get this caravan. Come on. Yeah, there we go. All right, so raid, so raiding caravans, what does that actually mean, though? Hand over your goods or die? Okay, so be it. Attack. There we go. All right, let's go in versus this caravan. Obviously, if you're thinking about this in a logical perspective, me attacking the Kuzate as this particular character build is probably the worst thing you could probably do because I have no shield. I'm up against horse archers primarily or cavalry units primarily. And, well, I pretty much have no defense against that. At least, within my own character. My units, on the other hand, they are doing a much better job than I ever imagined, to be honest. And uh, they are the main reason why we're actually able to do anything right now. So I'm pretty happy with that, to be fair. But, uh, yeah. Where are the enemies? Ah, they're, they're over there. They're literally just waiting? Are you serious? Okay, I'm just going to get my infantry to come over here, then. I'm very surprised that they're just waiting back there. I would have expected them to attack alongside their cavalry. I think that would have made the most sense because their cavalry is usually used as a major distraction for the enemy's lines. And in, in that case, it would very much cause a lot of confusion in my, in my forces. And then they would be able to do quite a bit of damage with their archers. They have a pretty significant archer force, as you can see. They have 24 of those guys. So generally, they should be... Decent, you know, they should be pretty good. Oh, hello there. Ow. Ow. Okay, that was a nice hit. Not too bad. Oh, now now they're bringing out the big guns, as you can see. Okay, I'm just gonna, just gonna continue blocking low, or neutral, in this case. Because they can only do that. They can only attack me with neutral attacks, unless they, you know, have like a... A one-handed or something like that that they could switch to but th this is the most hilarious thing about the AI they generally tend to just attack this way and you can pretty much remain completely invulnerable to any kind of damage because they don't switch and the only way that they can deal damage to me is if they have a bit of adaptability and some of the time they do some of the time they do and some of the time they don't. And this time, they quite surely don't. <laughs> and they are making things very difficult for themselves. Okay, we're going to continue moving forward. No, I've got to be careful here. I feel like I need a longer sword. Is that just me? Do I need a longer sword to go up against cavalry? Because cavalry at the moment, they're staying a bit too far out of my reach. And it's a bit difficult for me to use that. But, oh well, never mind. I'm actually kind of liking the sword. I think the sword is nice, but it's not doing enough damage in my opinion. It's uh, a little bit a little bit lacking in that way. But well, what, what can you do, eh? What can you do about it? It seems to me like that is it. Okay, so how much do you think we're going to gain from roguery skill in this? Once we have achieved victory, I feel like my roguery skill is probably not going to even increase. I think I'm probably going to get maybe two points. Maybe not even that. And that's something that I think we might need to tweak a little bit because 
as it stands, I'm going to need to do so many raids. Uh, I'm going to need to attack caravans almost all the time. Maybe, maybe doing the other activities is more lucrative. So, you know, sneaking into towns and so on and so forth. Maybe that's going to be a much better way to go. But sneaking into towns is very risky as far as I'm aware. Yeah, look at that. I gained two skill points in roguery that is actually kind of awful but bear in mind that i don't have that much in in terms of the focus points in roguery so even if you know even if i change that then maybe um maybe it's going to make a difference maybe it will maybe it won't i don't really know but let's take a look at my character sheet right now okay there we go i have an, an, another perk to spend which is 125 athletics so let's have a look decreases your charge damage taken could be pretty useful and increases your speed damage bonus by 30% while on foot. I think I'm probably going to take the 30% speed damage bonus. Because taking charge damage doesn't really do that much. I mean, it might do, I don't know, between 1 and maybe 5 damage. And personally, I don't think that's worth that. So I'm going to take Surging Blow to be a little bit more offensive. And as you can see, I only have 1 point in Roguery at the moment. So obviously, my learning rate is basically awful. It's just trash. So I'm going to need to spec a little bit more into that to make a good go of things in terms of leveling up my roguery skill. And I'm very much hoping that I'll be able to do that quite soon. Have I, have I gained? Oh yeah, look at that. I'm actually really close to leveling up as well. So one more fight would probably get me the next level that I need. So I'm thinking we might try to go off into a relatively far distance. Maybe a, a distant distant area, distant village or something like that, and maybe try to raid that. Like, for example, the Iron Ore village over here. Iron Ore is pretty good to sell, especially at places that have smithies. So I'm thinking we might try to sell that, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, let's uh, raid the village. Ooh, they really want to attack with 35. I think I'm going to try an auto-resolve this time. Yeah, auto-resolve seems to be working much nicer. And that will just allow me to take a bunch of prisoners. I should have sold my prisoners, by the way, before heading in here. But that is my mistake, after all. And let's take a look and see what happens. Obviously, once again, if I am attacked by a very large army, then obviously I'm going to try and run away if I can. But if not, then okay. Then we'll just continue the way that we've been going, and then we should be absolutely fine. Now, otherwise... My mercenary contract is giving me a massive amount of cash, as you can see right there. It's giving me 780 per day at the moment, because I am defeating quite a few of the enemy, which is obviously something that they pay you to do. And obviously, it does go down every so often, so that's obviously something to bear in mind too. But yeah, otherwise, there you go. Okay, we raided another village that has obviously reduced the economy, or the economic strength, of the Kuzate, which is really nice. And uh, obviously, because we are a mercenary, I don't really need to worry about, you know, sticking around if I don't want to, you know? I can just very easily leave at any point. Anyway, ransom my prisoners. Let's do it. Four skill points in roguery. Hmm. I was actually hoping for a little bit more than that, but okay. Interesting. And what else? Do we have anything here that is actually going to be kind of useful for me? Not really. I mean... I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to buy something, to be honest. I think I'm going to have to buy something that is really, really good. But obviously, I cannot buy anything that is too heavy because I want to continually be the fastest person on the battlefield. That is my main goal. Because if I'm not that, then I'm definitely not a berserker. And that is something that we're going to have to try and balance as best we can. Because if we don't balance that, it's just going to be one of those things where I just, you know, kit myself out in the, the best possible protection armor-wise. And then I can almost never die. And if I do die, then, you know, it's more than likely going to be a victory anyway. Rather than me relying on my dodge skills or my movement speed abilities i'm just relying on the sheer defensive bonus of the armor so that's not really the theme of the berserker if you know what i mean so it's much 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 better in my opinion to do it the other way anyway we now have a perk point to spend for roguery bandits are 20 percent easier to convince to leave in peace while bartering and prisoners are 20 percent less likely to escape from towns bandit units in your party gain experience 20 uh, percent faster and you get faster raiding i guess i'll do that 
and we'll level up our cunning and we'll also level up our roguery skill some more as well. Okay, so I'm just going to stay near the caravan because it's obviously going to get ambushed relatively soon. And I should probably level up my forces while I can do that as well. There we go. We've actually got 26,000? How do I have 26,000 in cash? It must be the mercenary contract. It's, you know, the mercenary contract is very lucrative. If you can actually find enemies to fight, then it's very good. Don't get me wrong on that. Anyway, let's go in here. And I will try to attack some of these step bandits. Bear in mind that step bandits obviously are going to be on horses. So for the most part, they're going to be very difficult for me to fight. But hopefully because it's this map, I might be able to make a good go of it. Because there's a lot of trees here. Most of them are not clippable. So generally they're going to be smashing into them. And hopefully being slowed down quite a bit by those. He says as he misses absolutely every single enemy as they rush through him on horses. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, you know, that's when I really wish I had like a pole arm or something. Oh, we got him. We got him while he was on his mount. That's really nice. Well, that was it. That was pretty easy. Oh, look at that. I can literally move around super fast. Yes. <laughs> it barely lags now because I've obviously not gotten a huge amount of extra equipment and, and units installed at the moment but there you go all right that is pretty nice we're gaining some really really good influence what's actually going on there oh it's probably because i can't use the influence that's the point yeah as you can see influence is periodically converted to dinars aha for mercenary clans that could be the reason by the way why we have so much cash um yeah because it is being converted from influence into that. But I don't know what the exchange rate is on those kinds of things. So it might be really, really terrible or it might be fantastic. So who knows? But that's a really cool system in my opinion anyway. And I think that's going to be it for this episode. I'm pretty happy to be raiding some villages and everything. And I'm hopeful that I'll be able to do even more of that in the next one. And I think what we're going to do is we might meet up with Ragnvad's army, and maybe see if we can do a couple of larger scale battles. Maybe if we can join a siege or something like that. I'm not entirely sure if mercenaries can join sieges, but it would be pretty cool if I could. Otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.